10 tips for substitute teachers. A substitute teacher is a person who fills in for an absent regular teacher. They are important to schools because they provide continuity in the classroom and they allow teachers to take time off when needed. But there are many challenges to being a substitute teacher. Lack of familiarity with students and curriculum, unclear expectations from the teachers, misbehavior or difficulty keeping students focused, lack of support from teachers and administrators. In this video, I'd like to share 10 tips for substitute teachers that may be helpful when filling in at schools. Arrive early. That gives you time to prepare and become familiar with the school. More importantly, it gives you the opportunity to make connections with admin, other teachers and the cleaning staff. They can also make you aware of schedule changes and other processes. Introduce yourself to neighboring teachers and review the lesson plans left by the absent teacher. Emergency folder. Always be prepared with additional resources for your classes. There might not be enough work for the students to do or a lesson might not work well. So it's up to every substitute to have extra worksheets or materials to save the day. I have 250 flashcards you can use that easily eats up a whole class period. You can find them in the description below. Another fantastic site for downloading free worksheets is called ISL Collective. Print them out and keep them with you in case of emergencies. For younger learners, it helps having some coloring pages. Procedures. When starting class, introduce yourself and establish the rules. Tell them that you will leave a letter for the teacher on how the class went. Also, share the day's schedule with the students so that they know exactly what to expect during the lesson. Set clear expectations for their behavior and work and make sure they understand that your teaching methods and the procedures might be different from those of their regular teacher. You don't want to hear but our teacher doesn't do it like this. It opens them up to lie about things for fun. Take note of the school's classroom management plan, but focus on setting your own rules and procedures with the class. Take register. When saying the names out loud, build rapport with the students by asking questions. What hobbies do they have? Something big happening that week at school? What are they looking forward to that day? How long does it take to get to school from where they live? I sometimes ask students to think of two questions they want to ask me. While going through the names, let them ask a question and then ask them one back. Usually I repeat back the question they asked me or something related to it. That way I don't have to make up questions on the spot. Most people think of the sub as a babysitter. No work to be done, but not with you. Tell the students that their time is important you will be reinforcing the work and helping however you can. You won't be teaching new difficult content, but rather review basic lessons. Check what the students already know, review with them, and constantly focus the activities on work that they have to practice, then reproduce. That will free you to manage the class. Always control the pace of the lesson. Break it into shorter chunks. Do more activities and transition between them. So maybe a short exploration on the student's prior knowledge, then switch to a short explanation, transition to pair work, back to class feedback, play a game, do individual work. It helps if you tell them how much time they have to do an activity in. For example, you've got five minutes to do these three questions with your partner. Then when you ask for feedback, do it with the game. These two groups, uh, rock, paper, scissors, uh, losing group has to explain. The last two groups with their hands on the table has to present in front of class. This makes class fun, doesn't waste too much time with each group giving feedback, unless that's what you want, and playing games is a fun way to pick. Just a warning though, many teachers think they have to carry the lesson by doing all the talking. That is not true. The more time you push on students to practice and do the talking instead of you talking, the more time it gives you to walk around and monitor, reducing whatever stress you might have. Classroom management. Like I said before, make sure the students are clear on your rules. If some students talk out loud, 
write their names on the board with a strike next to it. You may want to warn them first if you'd like. Many subclasses get out of control because a teacher acts like an individual tutor and not a teacher. They give instructions, then help individuals for way too long. While they are busy with an individual student, the class gets noisy. You have to stay in control and monitor the whole time. So if a student asks for individual help, praise, give simple instructions to a student who is lost and continue. Try not to go through the whole problem with that student. Instead, your focus should be on the entire class. Also, make sure you have a simple method for getting the class to focus on you. When you raise your hand, they have to be quiet and pay attention. Take stickers or candy with you. I would rarely recommend this to ordinary teachers. Giving class rewards like stickers and candy is temporary and it doesn't help with long-term motivation. But sometimes spending a couple of dollars on candy is definitely worth the trouble of managing difficult classes in the short term. Have a backup plan. Substitute teachers should be prepared for any situation in the classroom. Most teachers have detailed lesson plans for substitute teachers to follow. However, there may be situations where you will need to come prepared with other activities. To help with that, I wrote a book with 100 no prep classroom activities that you can find in the description below. Even though substitute teaching can be a challenging job, it is important to remember to have fun. Understand that not everything will always go as planned. Have a sense of humor and look for opportunities to make the day more enjoyable for everyone. An effective substitute teacher finds ways to positively engage with their students by getting to know them, introducing fun activities and keeping the overall mood of the classroom lighthearted and pleasant. End of class. Leave the room neat for the teacher you are subbing for. Imagine walking into the classroom as a teacher and seeing it totally wrecked. In the final lesson of the day, ask the students to clean up. At the beginning of the final period, I would always say, listen, guys, the last 10 minutes, we will clean up the class for your teacher, okay? Then leave a letter for the returning teacher. Include the following information. Absent students, how the lessons went, students that participated particularly well, students that misbehaved, anything else the teacher should be aware of. Keep it professional and focus on the positives. Substitute teachers who leave helpful notes and clean classes are more likely to be requested again. If you would like more useful tips for teachers, consider subbing to this channel. I'm Eric from Etiquette and I'll see you next time.